Okay, so we're doing 7.5 today, okay? So this is a combination of permutations and combinations, okay? It's probability, like, is in, I don't think any of this probability is difficult. I think what's going to be the difficult part for you is when you have to combine it all together, okay? But let's go through the basics of this. And I'm going to actually run through the examples. And because I think that you look at the examples and there's going to be some things that throw you off in those examples. I'm going to show you the correct technique. If anybody wants to rob my idea, I just had a yeah, little barcode thing that someone could sap on their phone and then they'd do a video instruction. I think that would make these books a hundred times better for the students. So if you want to float that idea and rob all the money from me, do. Right. So example one on page, making it bigger on purpose. For Sean, Sean was complaining to me, so it's going to be bigger from now on. Um, page 216, 217. Okay, so example one. You've got class A. So 6A has got, and then 6B. You've got two boys, two girls, or four girls. Four boys. So I'll show that their classes by doing that. Six girls. Okay. So now they're saying you've, the key thing that you've got to look at these questions and say when you read them is there restrictions? If there's restrictions, then apply those restrictions. And you're looking is it this and this or this or this? So you, that's going to make more sense now in a second. So this very first one, how many ways can the four pupils be selected? So if you think about it. In this way, we've got two boys, four girls. That's six people. And I have to choose four. Easy enough. And then, and I have to choose six from this group. So I have to choose or four from this group and four from this group, hence the multiplication. That's ten. Choose four. Okay? That's easy. That gives you an answer. Uh, six seven five your calculators can do it I'm not here to teach you how to use calculators I'm here to teach you how to do maths so the next one says uh, calculate the probability that the four chosen consists of two boys from 6a and two girls from 6b so you're looking at two boys 6a and two girls 6b so straight away we have to have two boys from the group. So we've got six, yeah, choose, or sorry, you got two, choose two. Because if we're gonna choose two boys, we've only got two boys to choose from. And this is the key thing now, listen up for this one. You've got how many people left over? You've got four left over. Get used to putting this in. You're choosing zero from the four remaining. And then it's this one, so you've got to have this and this. No harm in putting and in there. Two girls have to be from this. So we've got six girls, we have to choose two there. Yeah. There's ten people here in total. Okay, or there's, yeah, there's six girls there, and now there's four boys left over, and you're choosing zero. Now, anything in the world, anything in the world, 4 choose 0, a million choose 0, x choose 0 is 1. Okay? But this is going to help you later on down the road. So that's 15. Now, if I ask you the probability of getting this, well, this is the total number of options. So the probability of 2 boys, 2 girls, in that order that we did in the previous one, would be 15 over 6, 7, 5. Yeah, easy enough. I think, but don't forget this. Get used to putting this in because you're gonna mess up if you don't in the future. The book doesn't do that. Um, the next one, if the four pupils are the same gender, they consist of two girls from uh, 6A. So now here's a condition. Two girls, 6A, two girls, 
six B or two boys six A two girl or two boys six B. Okay? If four pupils are the same if the four pupils are the same gender, they will consist of that. Okay, so we have to choose teams here. So you go along here, you're going to choose two multiplied by um, four choose zero. We're choosing none of the girls. And we're going with two girls. So six girls choose two. And then we're going uh, how many boys? Sorry, that was four choose because we're choosing the girls here. Four choose two, choosing none of the boys, and we're choosing none of the boys here. Four choose zero. So these should always add up to the total in your group. Get that? Add on this one. Six A, two boys, or this. It's this and this, or this and this. Uh, two boys in six A. Two, choose two, four, choose zero, we're choosing none of the girls. Multiply by two boys. In this one, we've got four boys to choose from, and we're choosing none of the girls. Put that into your calculator, you will get an answer. The answer comes out as 96. And what's the probability of that? The probability is that over the total, which is 675. That's that, that question done. Easy enough in my mind. Um, it's just getting used to it. You're going to have to rewind and replay that a few times. Now, example two. Doing it the correct technique that the book often fails to do. Three cards are drawn at random and without replacement. Okay? Key. Key for this method. They are not replaced. Okay? Just like here, the boys aren't replaced. Mr. O'Murrico comes into the room and he chooses uh, two people for a job. Yeah, he's not going to go, I choose Donald, take Donald out of the room, and somehow Donald magically reappears in a seat. Yeah, Donald's gone. So it's, it was initially 18 choose and then it was 17. So that's how uh, it's 18 choose 2, which would go 18 by 17 over uh, two so it all works out now uh, next one three cards are drawn at random from 52 you've got to know your cards 52 you've got your 13 in each one queen jack king there's three in each and then the ace is one in each right so we move into this. Uh, find the probability that the three cards drawn are. The second says find probability. You've got to go. We need no restrictions. So the probability that three cards drawn are the jack of spades. So jack of spades. Queen of clubs. Queen of clubs. And. King of clubs. Okay. Well, probability indicates that all of this, the maximum we can have is 52 choose 3. Yep. Yeah. So that's the total possibilities if there was no restrictions. I've got 52 cards, I have to choose 3. Now, the 3 cards are drawn at random. This is where it gets a little bit trickier mentally once you get this a few times you're gonna kind of go ah that makes sense I've been given three specific cards I to choose those three agreed I got 49 cards left and I'm not allowed to choose any of them that answer will come out as 1 over 22,100 yeah, you can start to see why casinos make so much money. Uh, the three aces can be selected from the four aces in any ways. Okay? Okay, so the three cards are aces. This is part two. Once again, 
You've got your 52, choose three on the bottom. I'm showing you the methodology here. You've got four aces, you can choose three. That leaves us with 52 minus four is 48, and I choose one card. Put down your calculator, you get the answer of one over five, five, two, five. Yeah, or four over two, two, one, zero. Next one. And I'll do another random example so you understand that two cards and one club can be selected in the two red cards. So we're told we need two red cards. So probability total on the bottom. Two red cards. The red suits are diamonds and hearts. There's 26. There's, so we are told we have to have two out of that. And we have to have the third one is a club. So I'll get rid of that X and I'll put that in. We all know that this multiplied by this is here. So I have to have one club. Uh, yes, third one's a club. Now, this doesn't mean, there's no order to this. You've got to remember that. Like you said, if I say to you, um, Mr. Omeruku comes into class and he says, uh, pick three students. He picks Donald, Milo and Ryan. And then someone goes, oh, no, no, but you could have chose Ryan, Milo, and Donald. It's the same thing. Order does not matter. So there's one thing we're missing out here. 26 plus 13 in the remaining suit that we haven't chosen from, we're choosing zero. Yeah, get used to writing that down. This is uh, 4, 4, or 4, 2, 2, 5 over 2. Two two one zero zero. Your calculator will break that down for you. Now, next one. Three cards of the same color. Okay, so you can go three black, three red. Okay, fifty-two over three, or on the top. If you had to go three black. That's 22, 20, 26 choose three, and 26 choose one from the reds. Or, or, plus, sorry to overemphasize it there, we can go 26 of red, there is, choose three. And then this is 26 choose one. Put that into your calculator, you get the answer, you can see the answer in the book. Now, if I was to give you one to do here separately, so after I finish saying it, I want you to try it, then I'll give the answer. So, for example, if I said to you I want uh, three picture cards, remember it's king, jack, and queen. Three picture cards, whoops, I've gone through a gap there, three picture cards. That's blurry, but you can hear me saying it, Sean, so you're grand. Three picture cards and um, and an ace. Yeah. Or four or three diamonds. and king of hearts okay you try to do that now it's three picture cards and an ace and i want to see that you write out the correct way as well and three diamonds and a king of hearts okay pause it now because i'm doing an answer 52 choose three now this one here is Three picture cards. How many picture cards is there? There's three. There's four suits, so there's 12 in total. We want three. Okay, we want an ace. There's four aces, we choose one. That is 16, take that away. 36, I'm choosing zero. Yep. Or, three diamonds. I got how many diamonds? 13 diamonds, choose three. I want a king of hearts. There's one heart, I'm choosing, or there's one king of heart, and I'm choosing it. That leaves me 14 there. Take away 14 from 52, 38. 
and I'm choosing zero there. Put down to your calculator, you'll get the answers. That's important. Now, the very last thing that we're going to do is events occurring at least once. So I don't like the example they have in the book. So we roll a dice. And I'm saying um, we roll four times. And I want to know probability of at least one six. Okay. One six. Okay. So somebody, people are going, oh, maybe I'll do it this way. Maybe let's do the probability of not getting a six. So the pro probability of not getting a six is five out of six the first time. And then five out of six the second time. Then I'll make it bigger. Five out of six. Then five out of six. Agreed? Put into your calculator, you get an answer. The probability of at least one six. You do one minus the answer above. Now, if that's probability of at least two sixes, we'd find the probability of no sixes. We'd find the probability of one six. So I would have to go in here, I designate this as the six. So one six by five six by five six by five six, okay. But you, yeah, oh, don't actually worry about that. We're going to come into that in the next thing. So um, yeah, I'm skipping ahead actually there. But this is important. And the uh, work I expect you to do is question one, two, ten. Okay, long video. Hopefully it wasn't too torturous.